I guess here's the question. Are you compelled by it? Are you were you excited to watch the ball game with Alabama and Clemson? I mean Ohio State. The finally Clemson Ohio State. Yeah, finally Clemson wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Dabo sucks. Uh the Ohio State. Mm. Um played Alabama last night. I should say got on the same field with Alabama yeah, last seriously. night. Seriously. Uh, didn't really compete. And the question, I guess, is do you find it compelling that Alabama's been in six of what? Six of seven yeah. um, college football playoffs, as has Clemson. Um, Nick Saban's got three championships in, of the seven that have been decided. He's got seven all together, four in the BCS, Bowl Championship Series, Roll Tide. Um, <laughs> Is that good football to you? Is that compelling? Is it good for college football um, that Alabama, um, uh, you know, is there every single year? Right. No, you know, I don't think it's great for college football. And the reason I say that is just because if if you think about – you know, take a take a local fan like you know, like a BYU fan or a Utah fan or whatever whatever your your team is on the on the local level. You know, once your team is 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 either you know, out of the running to even have a chance to get into the college football playoff, or they were they were never gonna have a chance. What you know, whatever the situation is, I just don't believe that that you know Ohio State, Alabama, and really Alabama every single year, you know, is what you want to see. I mean, it would be nice if if uh, you know there was a different team there every once in a while. You know, I, I look at and not that structurally you can compare football to basketball, but I, I look at March Madness. I look at why everybody loves it so much, and it's because you get a different result every single year, and it's extremely deep. You've got round after round after round, and it's exciting basketball. You've got buzzer beaters. You've got all kinds of stuff. So when I look at football, I just start to think, hey, is it not a formality that Alabama is just going to be in the college football championship game every single year? Like it is because it essentially is. So to me, it's not compelling to a, at all. And, and even la- and last night's a great example. Last night, yeah, I, I got off of work at six and I said, oh, you know the you know Alabama and Ohio State are on. I better turn that on and just catch a couple you know minutes of that just to see what happens, make sure nothing crazy happens because we all knew Alabama was going to win. So that's why I say to me. It's ju- it's not compelling and it's not healthy for college football. Well, I, I think when you talk about healthy for college football, a whole bunch of people watching the TV last night is healthy for college football. And I don't I don't think there's any question. No matter who you are a fan of, I'm a fan of Notre Dame. I know that Notre Dame is not going to play for a national championship most years because Brian Kelly's our head coach. Um, I say our because I'm number uh, you know ninety four uh, on the end of the bench. Um, but the point is, I know Brian Kelly's not a national championship caliber head coach. Yeah. But is it good for college football that Alabama is playing for a national championship? I disagree with you, and I'm going to say yes, it is. Because people want to see the best of the best. And whether you like it or not, it's almost indisputable that Alabama is by far the most talented. And after what we saw this college football playoff, the best team in college football, hands down, not even a question. And I could even make the argument that Alabama's the best team in the history of college football. The 2020 Alabama Crimson Tide are the best team to ever play college football. They have 11 SEC wins, right? Winning 11 games in the SEC is nothing short of miraculous. And it's very difficult on any level to discredit Alabama for doing that. Right. So I understand that there may be boredom or burnout, but... Alabama feels different than Clemson. Like, Dabo Sweeney's a cock. I can't stand him, (laughs) right? But I have a hell of a lot of respect for Nick Saban. And I think that that makes a difference. When you have now the best coach in the history of college football doing it year in and year out in 2020, 2021, my guess is at least five more years out of Nick Saban, um, I think it's hard not to watch. The issue is... For teams like BYU. The issue is, if you're a fan of the Pac-12, you're never getting in. Is that horrible mismanagement? Yes, it is. But the issue is, you know as a fan of the Pac-12, that you are never, at least not now, never going to play for a national championship. With all due respect, because Oregon and Washington have played for a national championship, but on the regular, you're going to have to have a miraculous season. If you're the Utah Utes, everything is going to have to break perfectly. Recruiting. Development, coaching, 
um, nutrition, you know, off-season, guys not getting injured, guys not getting arrested, guys not getting kicked off the team, like any of the off-season thing that strikes just about every team in this country, yeah. you're going to have to be perfect. Because unlike Alabama, you're not 17 deep at every important position. <laughs> you don't lose to a tongue of Iloa and then have Mac Jones step up and almost win a Heisman Trophy. <laughs> Right? I mean, and he didn't win it because his teammate, Devontae Smith, won it. Right? Like that. But that's my yeah, point. Yeah. So we talk about the burnout factor and we talk about being pissed that Alabama's there every year. They do it better than everybody else. Yeah. So what would you change? I would make it uh, I would make it a, a, a deeper playoff. That's what I would do. I, I think, you know, I, I'm not even, I'm not saying that Alabama doesn't deserve to win it every time they get there. I'm not saying that. They are the best team. They are earning it, and yeah, this year in particular, yeah, they, they did a hell of a job, 11 SEC wins, greatest SEC team ever, okay, cool, awesome. I, I don't put as much value on that because I've seen them every single year, but that's still a great accomplishment, that's still awesome, like, great stuff out of them. What, what I would have changed is I want teams like, you know, a BYU, teams like, you know, the smaller teams, I'm not saying every small team, I'm saying... Uh, a smaller end team who's not who's not you know a, a well known nameplate in every household who goes 11 12 13 and 0 on any particular year to at least have a chance to to play into you know a playoff game like like if it was a if the college football playoff was 6 rounds instead of just 2 rounds Right, right. Give people a chance to at least play one playoff game. If they lose and get their ass handed to them, fifty to nothing. Great. We'll see you later. But you how do you shot. figure that out? How do you figure that out? That's my question. Like, again, it's not like Alabama gets a free pass to the college football playoff, right? Yeah, but I mean, they essentially do. They get catered to by the by the by the people who vote and determine who goes where. But in why rankings. is it, it? And I know that this is an argument that is had on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Why does the SEC get catered to? Why do they get that preferential treatment? Well, because they're better than everybody. They're more talented than yeah. everybody. Ask that yourself, does not mean, just because they're better than everybody, does not mean that they should get far and away more opportunity than other schools. Would you say that the BYU team this year, with, with Zach Wilson and everything that they had going, they would have never beat Alabama. Never. But I think they would have gave them a good game. And I think it would have been great for viewers. I don't think they would have. I think I think Alabama, with all due respect to Kalani Satake and, and his staff, Alabama would have beat them by fifty. Okay. Alabama would have Alabama would have boat raced BYU. Because Alabama is and we saw this, Alabama destroyed Ohio State, who would have destroyed BYU or anybody else you put in front of them. Mm -hmm. Ohio State is an elite football team. You look at Alabama, Alabama is four or five deep at every skill position. They just had a wide receiver win the Heisman Trophy. Mm -hmm. you, you had your quarterback and your wide receiver in the race to win the Heisman Trophy. Like, you're deeper. They're f look how fast Alabama is. Alabama is just, they're, they're fast, they're physical, they're deep, they're well coached, they're disciplined. That's great. That's fine and dandy. Awesome. What I'm saying is it ha th this can't go on for a decade at a time where Alabama's going to be in it damn near every year. They're going to win it most years, and it's just and everybody else is just watching. They've it. been there six out of seven like, years, as has Clemson. And, 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 and I don't want this to come off as I'm trying to take something from them. When I, my, my, my overreaching big-picture point here is that for college football – for a guy like me who's not a huge college football guy to really care about the national championship, there's got to be more of a story than Alabama versus the world because that's essentially what college football is. Yeah, we get a lot of great matchups, and, and, and this year was a lot different because of COVID, but, you know, yeah, like I love the Alabama going to LSU and winning a huge game, like in those caliber of games during the regular season. Yeah, I, I love those just as much as anybody else. But what I am saying is that, these teams that go 11 and 12 and 0 as underdogs should at least be able to sniff a playoff opportunity. And that's just not the case. Well, Barry, the New York Giant fan says we don't give participation medals. I hate Alabama, but they belong there. They deserve it. And, and well, I'm not saying that they don't belong or they don't deserve it. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. They should be there. They're the best team. And if you ran them through a, 
a, a process of like if, if the college football playoff again was you know uh, eight rounds instead of four rounds or two rounds or whatever, like a like a more rigorous process to get to the championship game. Yeah, they probably still win the championship, and that's fine. My point is, is I want more teams to have the opportunity to say, hey, we got into the college football playoff as BYU, as as whatever team. You got to play your way into that. And this year, yeah, BYU was really close to doing that. And I don't they, think they were that close. And they lost, well, I think it, they'd have been in a New Year's Six if they had if they had beaten Coastal. They'd have been in a New Year's Six. I have no doubt about that. Zach Wilson was everybody's All-American. Yeah. Um, he, is, he is now, depending on which mock draft you watch, Zach Wilson is argu- arguably the first quarterback off the board. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, who you ask. Yeah. That's sensational. I think that if they had beaten Coastal Carolina, they're probably in a New Year's Six Bowl. Um, now, at that point, you're going up against a very good football team, so who knows what happens. All I'm saying is there is a certain cut, and it's like this in all sports. There are the good, and then there are the elite. There's no more There's no more middle class in college football. Mm. You're either really good or you're, you're just like everybody else. Mm. And right now, if we're, if we're being honest, look at most of the conferences. The Big Ten got a couple of teams. Yeah, they're all top-heavy. Right? That's what they all Yeah, are. they're all top-heavy. So I don't know how you fix that. You're gonna, somebody's going to have to go and tell... I mean, Indiana's kind of an interesting example. Like, you know, that's like a great example. Indiana won a bunch of games this year and surprised everybody. Now go do it again. Yeah, but like you know, they're probably not going to be able to do it again because they're not going to be able to cr- recruit year after year after year the way Alabama is. And the other point here, and again, I want to be super clear: I'm not trying to take anything from Alabama. I'm not saying that yeah. they don't deserve to be there. But what I am saying is. You know, again, a team like Indiana, who everybody knows is not going to, you know, do what they did this year, year after year after year, the same way in Alabama can, they should have a shot. And, and and this is why I say, like, you know, you can't do a round-robin 64-team tournament in football. That's not going to work. It's just, that's just not feasible. But that, that excitement that we all get around March Madness, that excitement that we all get around the Cinderella story who, you know, had a hell of a run and... You know, they beat a team they really shouldn't have beat, you know, and, and everything's awesome. You don't get that in football. You simply do not get that in football. You get, hey, yeah, we won 10 games. We got to our bowl game. Have a nice have a nice but, season. But, 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 and I don't mean to be redundant. Is there any more flawed sport in the world than college basketball right now? Like, we're not even probably going to have an NCAA tournament this year. There's... A severe shortage of talent in college basketball because Lamelo Ball is playing in the NBA, mm-hmm. right? I don't think to to sum this up. I I don't think college football is broken. I don't think college football needs to be fixed. I think it would be great to see somebody other than Alabama and Clemson compete for a national championship. But until somebody is able to consistently recruit and compete at the level of Alabama. I just don't know why you would take that away from Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State. Like Ohio State was only in this year because they've been, they're, they, they're a dominant program over the last decade. And they've done that with Trestle and Urban Meyer and now Ryan Day. And mm-hmm. it's the Ohio State, right? I, I, I just I don't think college football is broken. I think if you're good enough and if you win enough games – um, that Utah and Boise and uh, everybody else has shown that you can get there. I, I just I think it's very difficult to do. That's it and, and it, it's almost impossible. And by the way, it should should it be easy? I don't think it should be easy. It shouldn't be as difficult as it is now. It shouldn't be. It should not be. You shouldn't be able to go ten and zero and not even get a, a sniff. Yeah, I just don't know how you fix it. I don't know what that because that there's no solution there. You either win the game or you don't. Mm. <clears throat> and find me a team to compete with Alabama. Yeah, right now there's not. There's not. And I'm a, I was very happy to see Clemson go out. Um, you know, I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I love college football. It's not fun for I me to it. watch it. It's not. I mean, it, it's, it's College really football not. on the whole or the college football the, playoff? The college football playoff is not fun. I, I love a great regular season matchup of two heavy hitters. You know, again, 
you know, the example I always go to is Alabama going to LSU in a, in a just massively packed stadium. And like, I love those moments in college football, but I'm not, I'm not like giddy to get off of work last night and turn on college football. The only reason I turned it on is because I knew we'd be talking about it. Literally. You were more interested in. I was more uh, interested a regular in regular season NBA. Game. I was more interested in, in figuring out why the Suns were down twenty six points with twenty four minutes left. That's what that's what I was more interested in. I was more interested in, in yeah, figuring they were out last night. why uh I was more interested in seeing Lamella Ball perform at a, a high level for a rookie again. That's what I was more interested in. Yeah. Well, I mean I and I, I can't blame you for that. So make sure you hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. Just search the Monty Show, M L N T Y the Monty Show.